Welcome back. You're watching an Ian King Live budget special brought to you from the Unipark factory in Coventry. Oh, four years ago, in his second budget speech, George Osborne spoke of his plan for economic growth to be driven by manufacturing. This is our plan for growth. We want the words made in Britain, created in Britain, designed in Britain, invented in Britain to drive our nation forward. A Britain carried aloft by the march of the makers. That is how we will create jobs and support families. We have put fuel into the tank of the British economy, and I commend this budget to the House. Yeah. But with manufacturing growth now at a two-year low and the economy propped up by the services sector, is George Osborne's mission failing? Well, here at Unipart, they have their own ideas about productivity. Productivity, of course, is absolutely vital. It, it drives growth, it drives wages. If you get higher growth and higher wages, you get higher taxes and you don't need as much austerity. And uh, if you want to talk about productivity, well, there's no better person, quite frankly, than John Neal, who's the chairman and chief executive of Unipart. He joins me now. So, John, you've obviously, you're ingrained with productivity. Tell me all about what you do here and its relevance, you think, to what Mr Osborne's trying to say today. Well, I mean, frankly, if there was a soundbite solution uh, to the country's productivity puzzle, we would have solved it 30 years ago. So for the last 25 years, we've been designing, building and developing the whole Unipart Way ecosystem. Fundamentally, it's all about people. It's about inspiring people to use their talent and their ability to work in teams, to solve problems, to make problems visible, to teach them a whole body of knowledge, which takes many, many years to master, and then synchronizing that body of knowledge to apply it either to our manufacturing businesses, our logistics businesses, and indeed we've applied the Unipart way into government, into the NHS, into financial services, and Indeed, everywhere are paying you to learn your, your tricks of the trade, as it were. Well, no, I mean, we're very happy to work with them. Of course, we charge them a fee, but the productivity improvements we make in the first year, 40%, and then 5 to 10% a year thereafter, forever. Yeah. Now, one of the things that's really struck me going around your, your factory today is uh, the number of apprentices that you have on site. So you're obviously investing very heavily on that. The, the Chancellor's given a nudge today to businesses that do invest in apprenticeships and punishing those that won't. Do you think that's going to work? Listen, we want to train the young people of the future. They're, they're young, they're enthusiastic, they're, they're dead keen to learn. But frankly, we train everybody. Everybody in Unipart is on their own personal gate to grade journey, whether they're apprentices, whether they're graduates, or whether they're people who have been here for 50 years. Yeah. Now, what do you make of the living wage announcement? That's obviously, there have been concerns that it's going to push up the wages bill for a lot of businesses. Is that something that concerns you particularly? Look, as long as it's a level playing field and everyone has to pay for it and has to pay it, that's the right direction of travel. And there's plenty of opportunities, as we know, in the British economy to improve productivity to enable us to pay for it. Yeah, now obviously uh, you're a big player, you're, you're servicing the automotive industry. This is actually quite good news for motorists in some ways. Obviously, new car owners are going to get hit, but we're going to get new, lots of new money on uh, new roads. Are you pleased by that? Well, I hope it happened this time. <laughs> I mean, clearly, an efficient road system is, uh, is good for motorists, but it's also good for productivity. And everybody knows that if you're stuck in traffic jams in London, gridlocked, or traffic jams on the roads around the country, that's, that's, that's idling productivity. All right, John Neal from Unipart, thanks for your time, and thanks for putting us up today. You're very welcome.